I'm like, are you kidding me? I did door-to-door -door sales for two years. I taught door-to-door -door sales before I got in the car business. I'm liking this guy. Are you kidding me right now? Like, step inside my house. We're talking. I got magazines. I don't want But what happened? What? He did practice some principles. What was the first one he practiced? What's that called? Pattern and No. First one was space. But then what, what did he do? Put it on my pants. Are you kidding me right now? Right? And then what did he do when he started pointing at neighbors? What was he doing? Social. 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 See that? Doing some social proof. Oh God! Built into two minutes, this guy's hitting freaking every button. He's seeing which one I jump on. And then what's he do? Just a takeaway, right? Sir, the last thing I'm gonna do is ask you to buy a magazine. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I've been teaching that. I had a salesman, Mike. Mike's a new salesman. Hasn't been selling for a long time. Sat through my class, much like you did. Eager to learn. Excited to learn anything. He sits through the class. Takes lots of notes. He goes back to the store that day. He calls me later that night. He says, John, I tried your thing and it worked, but I don't think I did it right. I said, okay, tell me the story, Mike. He says, so I was out on the lot, and there was this customer, right, and it was this lady, and she was really nice, but her husband was super distant. Like, he wouldn't come over and talk at all. And I didn't know what to do, so I was just trying to be nice to her and hoping that one day he'd come around, right? So he says, I was working with her, and I was showing her some cars, and, and she said, she said, don't mind my husband. He wanted to go fishing today, so he doesn't want to be here, but we need a car. So he's telling me, so the salesman says, so then the husband walks over, and he sees the stand in the car, he says, so just cut to the chase, what's your best price? And I panicked, I didn't know what to do, so I turned to him and I said, well, sir, I have pudding in my pants, so I'll get to the price in a second. <laughs> I told you about earlier. 
If I find the car you like, the deal you like, and you like the way you're treated, I'm going to probably ask you to buy more than once. Is that okay? Or, you want it stronger? If I find the car you like, the deal you like, and the, and the experience you like, I am going to ask you to buy, and I will ask more than once. Is that okay? Be even more direct. It's okay to do that. Set up questions. Okay, last one. Let's go trade. Trade. I bring up the trade first. How do I bring up the trade first? I ask them, because I know what do they want to ask me. So what do I do? I bring it up first by asking them if that's what they need. So I'll say, Kendall, let me ask you a question. I see you're driving X vehicle. Is getting a value on your car going to be important to you? Absolutely. I say, just so you know, that's something we would love to do today. That's it. Is getting a value on the car you're driving going to be important to you guys? What will they say? Yes. Yes. I say, well, just so you know, it's important to us too. And we'll be happy to do that for you today. It's something we love to do. Um, unless you have all the numbers, it's really hard to make the decisions in there. And they'll say, yeah. And I say, well, we'll do that today too, I promise. See, here's the problem. You're reactive. And because you're reactive, you're at their discretion. They're the ones telling you. They're directing you. So they say, um, what can we get for our trade? And because you didn't bring it up first, and they did, you end up being defensive. You say, well, actually, I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say until we drive a car. Does it doesn't really even matter what the trade's worth? I mean, you, you've done that because you let them lead you instead of you leading them. Lead the sale. Be the leader, and the customer will follow you. Okay. Using the intent statement to set expectations. Here's the four things I just mentioned. Here's the four things. 